Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to try to do a, a sort of a, a quick video because I had, oh my gosh, I bought some eyeshadow palettes. Yeah, I know. I said I was going to be on a low buy. But if you want to know my thoughts on these, stay tuned. <laughs> So this is like super, super crazy, right? Because I did say that I was not going to buy anything and I was not going to do any more. But then I, I mean, I like the Stone Cold palette from ColourPop. You can see, I'm almost embarrassed to show you how kind of grimy it looks because it is well used. And I really liked it for, you know, I... I guess I'm just totally spoiled on palettes. I really like the colors. I like the fact that it was cool tones. I like the fact that it went on really super light that I could build it up. Uh, I thought it blended nice, although I thought it was powdery. I thought it was I thought it was really powdery. But that was the Stone Cold Fox. I like that one a lot. Um, I would just brush off the powder residue and I figured, okay. I love my Viseart palettes. I have a number of Viseart palettes and I have to say hands down, so far, out of all the palettes I've ever used, those have been my favorites. So, that said, I kind of compare everything to that. You know, I bought like drugstore, I have a whole stash of drugstore palettes that over the last three or four years that I've bought that I've like used once or twice and like have them on my chin and sometimes I give them away. It's just like incredible. But anyways, I saw the Smoke and Roses palette and I thought I really like these colors. I don't know if you can see these, I'm sure by now, let me take the, the protective film off. I'm sure by now you've probably seen these palettes and seen the colors and all that. And I've only worn, I've only used this twice. So I thought, hmm, I like the colors, just a little bit more of a pop of color than the Stone Cold one. The Stone Cold one seemed to be a little bit lighter. Uh, this had a lot more pinks, which I kind of really like the idea of the pinks compared to the other one. Let's see if I can hold them this way. Again, I'm totally embarrassed by the condition of the one I've been using. But it also shows you that it is very powdery. So I thought I would really like this. So I bought it. It came with the brush set. I haven't even opened up the brush set yet. But it came with the brush set. set. And uh, I also bought the quartz. This one I've worn three times. I've used it during the course of this week three times. This gives me a very smoky look which I think I'm gravitating more towards a smoky eye look. I haven't yet ventured into the greens or into the real blues. I have done the purples and the mauves, and I think the purples and the pinks are my favorite. But this, this is a really cool palette for me and has given me some really nice smoky looks. So I've used this three times. But the Smoke and Roses, I have to tell you, it it was one it's probably the first palette when I that I put on that I had to wash off. I hate to say that because I hate to really be negative because I know just because it isn't working for me or it didn't work for me doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. It might be perfect for you. But I ended up having to wash this off. I couldn't get the the first time I tried it. I couldn't get it to blend. I couldn't get when I, when I got some depth of color and then I tried to blend it, it would blend off. So then I decided, well, maybe I have to dampen my brush a little bit because it's very, very powdery. I mean, my cheeks, it was just all the powder went down. So I dampened my brush a little bit and I tried my second application with a damp brush, tried to put the eyeshadow on while <laughs> you can imagine, right? <laughs> Yeah, you can imagine it came off 
really muddy on me and I was like, oh my gosh, I ended up having to wash it off the second time. The third time, I used a little bit of the base. I used um, a little bit of uh, some of the, the color, some of the browner shade to go into my crease. And then I just grabbed my Busy Up palette and I did my pink and my purple. <laughs> and that's kind of like what I have now. It's a combination of both. But I, I was just really, I mean, the colors are beautiful. And I was so psyched. I'm thinking these colors are gorgeous. Everything that I like, you know, from a nice neutral, you know, all over bone color to the different shades of pink and the, and the more darker, um, darker colors. I really like this. And you know, if I'm going to have a complaint about a palette, why do they have to have so many glimmers and glitters in their palettes, you know, shimmers? I mean, one or two shimmers and then just give me some solid colors. But it's like most of the palettes have so many, how many shimmers do you need, right? How many? I don't need very many. I am too old for that. So, smoke and roses. Now is a bummer. That was a disappointment. I actually like the Stone Cold Fox better. And maybe because it's a lighter and I didn't have to you know, play around with it as much. I don't know, but I have been wearing darker eye looks, so that's been, it's just been kind of really crazy, really crazy. And the quartz, the ColourPop quartz, I really like that. It is powdery though. And I know I'm being too fussy, too subjective, right? Because I prefer not to have a powdery palette. I prefer to have more of a, uh, a, I don't know, my Viseart isn't powdery like that. It doesn't go all over my face. So I literally had to wash my face off, my, my face, try to clean it up. And it was a real bummer when I ended up um, having to basically remove it and start all over again. So what I have on now is a combination of the of that and my Viseart palette. And I just use my purple and my darker purple just to try to I don't, even, I don't even know if it's going to pick up, just to try to give a little bit of uh, depth of color. So a number of you have asked about my hair buns and my hair wraps and the things that I wear in my hair a lot. A lot of these, like this curly one, I really, I mean, I like the curly ones. This, I have to replace this. I got this in Sally's, I don't know how long ago. The one I have in my hair is a little bit shorter. And I also got that in Sally's. So I'll turn around so you can see it. So you can just see that there's a little bit of curls. I don't even know how it looks, but I've got a little bit of curls. I've got a clip. And that's how, I mean, I think, I and I have, this is like my own, the shorter hair is coming up on the top of this, is my own, my own hair. So when I, when I put my hair up, I normally put a topper on. I have a topper on just to give me some fullness, some depth. The one I have on is my John Minot Easy Part 8, which is the perfect amount of coverage for me because I have my own bangs pulled forward, my own sides. I just need a little bit more volume. And I like it because it gives me that volume and it gives me that height. It's super easy to put in, especially when I'm going to be putting doing my hair in an updo. So you can see it's blended in now because it's getting to be that time of year right and uh, I have been like playing around with my ponytails I have a couple of different ponytails and the problem with my ponytails is they don't stay in my hair they tend to slide down and I don't remember if I got this one at Ulta or if I ordered it online I don't remember I've had it for a while this is the 18 inch simply straight wrap around pony i want to get a wavy one um, but this is an 18 inch and this is in the color buttered toast this is by hairdo and what i ended up doing because it's a little shorter right now but what i ended up doing was i thinned the heck out of it i probably took half the volume off and i'm not done yet I probably took half the volume off and I want to make it a little bit shorter so that come summertime, 
when I wrap this around my own ponytail and then I you know you wrap this part of it around and you pin it so it looks like that so when I wrap it around the weight doesn't pull it and slide out of my own skimpy little pony so that especially I like to wear these when I'm wearing a ball cap right if I have a ball cap I like to have something come off and buttered toast it isn't the perfect match for me but it's a pretty darn good match so I've had this a number of I don't know maybe three years two years something like that and this is the first time I've tackled cutting it so what I did is I thinned it with my my, my scissors I thinned it and I'm still gonna thin some more I probably took uh, almost half of the the density off of this that's how dense it was I have no idea what the weight was on it at all but I have another one that's a little bit longer this is a 23 inch this one you guys have seen me wear but this is the 23 inch and this is in the dipped purple edges <laughs> you want to talk about fun so this one I'm not going to make shorter because of the dip you know the purple edges but oh my gosh now what? it's ginger blonde and dark purple this I got via the Octoly network I'm remembering it now and I think this is so cute I wore this a couple of times again I've got a lot of issue with the weight pulling it down but when I put it on and I have it on a ball cap or something like that or I can clip it secure it'll work it, it will work I love the purple so wanted to just share that with you I'm not going to be able to really cut that one up but so many of you have been asking when I wear my hair um, you know when I wear my hair up when I'm you know doing uh, doing how do I do the ponytails and how do I do the fake buns I also have these this set of clip and bangs which I think would be really super easy if somebody wants to do an updo and you wanted to have you know hair hanging down well it's not clipped in it's just sitting there but I don't want to pull my own I just did pull my own hair but it has the three little clips and this is this is also I think instant bang buttered buttered toast I believe I don't have glasses on but it's true to life fibers it's hairdo you know the fibers are really pretty and it's just a bang so if anyone if you guys if you ladies are looking for something to give you a bang and you've been looking at this and you're going how, how much coverage does it have take a look at that and you could cut this if you wanted you, you know the bangs are pretty short but you could cut this it does not have a lace front so you can put this behind your own bangs if you want and it does come in a few different colors so I kind of thought that was really cool I can't remember what I paid for this but it was pretty cheap it might have been on sale and I and it might have been like maybe $15 or something like that not expensive at all so I wanted to share that because you guys often ask about my buns and, and since I was doing the project on cutting my ponytail I thought it'd be perfect to show you what my ponytail what I've been doing so getting ready for summer I have to really I'm going to be on a hunt for replacing these two buns because they're getting pretty beat up and I haven't seen them anywhere but of course I haven't gone into a Sally's Beauty supply shop in a while and I got these in Sally's and they had the curly ones and then they had a little bit more of a straighter one I have two of them and I don't know which one is you know which one was the curly or curlier one and which one was just wavy but this you can see the little the little ringlet so anyways just wanted to share that with you disappointment in my disappointment but this one I think is really nice I'm kind of liking the quartz but so powdery just so powdery so anyways wanted to pop in and tell you that and hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Talk to you later. Mwah.